Hey everybody, it's your best friend Kate. And today I'm going to show you this, uh, this set from Stampin' Up. It's called Flowering Cactus. And it's a whole kit that you can buy all in one piece, which is pretty cool. I love stuff like that. And it all goes together, of course. And uh, then we're going to make a card. So um, I made this card earlier today. Here we go. And I think it's pretty darn cute. This is uh, using all stuff from this kit, except for the background paper, which I had, but it happens to match. And uh, anyway, we're not gonna make this exact card, but we're gonna make a similar one. So anyway, here we go. So flower and cactus. We've got uh, some really cute cacti stamp here, stamps uh, here. This is actually one stamp, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, some flowers, these are little shadows that you can stick under your cacti. Um, this is like a little Christ Christmas cactus, and I think these are supposed to be the flowers that go with them. And then we have some sentiments, of course. So we've got, I love how our friendship has grown. You are a rare find, my dear friend. Life can get kind of prickly. Happy looks good on you. I'm always here for you. I feel like that's a good uh, inside of the card sentiment, I think. And then, I hope your birthday is filled with beautiful things. Uh, it also comes with a set of dies, and the dies match the stamps, of course. Um, like a so. So, we've got this heart shaped cactus. We've got this Choya thingamajig. Stay. You get the idea. We've got this little guy. Uh, we've got these two. Let's see if I can match it up on the first go. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right. Uh, these little flowers. That one goes like that. Nope, that one goes like that. This one goes like this. Ish. That's about right. Yeah, there we go. Pretty close. And then this guy. And then there's also this, like, little... I don't know, it's like a cactus, I guess. Like little points. It's kind of cute. I saw in the catalog, they actually used it to punch little holes out of the actual card. And then there's a cactus. And then this is like a cactus uh, impression thing. It like uh, kind of perforates the paper in the shape of this, or in the pattern of a cactus. I tried it out earlier. I don't... I don't know about this, guys. Um, I tried it out earlier, and let's see if I can find a piece of paper. That oh yeah, here we go. So I, I put it on a piece of patterned paper, and I just wanted to see like, could I make it kind of cactusy? And you can't. I don't know. Eh, it's kind of hard to see the the detail, even if I get like super close up. Eh, what do you guys think? Anyway. There's that. So I didn't. I haven't used that yet. Um, it also comes with four each of these colors of uh, felt sheets. Then I've got little cutouts. Um, there are tons of different shapes on here, and they almost look like they're hiding, kind of. But they're all there. So you get four in Calypso Coral is the name of this color. This is kind of a flagship color for them. Um, and then you get you know four of these same shapes. I'm really good at this. Here we go. Boom. Uh, and, you know, again, you can barely see them in there. Uh, get four sheets of this. This color is called Highland Heather. And let me bring something over real quick here. This is my little project tray. It's actually a jewelry tray. But I punched out one of each of those sheets, and this is how many pieces there are. There's a ton of freaking pieces! Um, so that's fun. I was like, I'm never going to run out of them. So they're like stitched felt. This is actually, I left the, you can, you can see they're the same. I was like, so are they the same? Yes, they're the same. Totally. Anyway, there's that. And then, uh, two spools of thread. They're both linen. This one is in Calypso Coral, and this one is natural. I'll set that off to the side for now. Get out of here, cactus. We're going to move you over here, too. All right, and then we've got the paper, which is always the fun part. So, uh, man, you get a ton of this paper. I think there are, I want to say, eight sheets. Hold on, I can tell you. I've got the... Anyway, I'll link a product. I'll link it. I'll, I'll send a link to the product. Send a link. It'll be in the comments. Um, there's this pattern, which is like the Christmas cactus. 
and on the back of that is a cactus pattern kind of like the punch or the die that I just showed you so get in here yeah looking good we've got oh this sheet so these happen to match the dies uh, you can cut out I think all of these pieces with the dies you can't do it all at once obviously um, and I had to get kind of strategic with how I did which pieces when um, but I got, you know, all three of the heart-shaped cacti, all four of the choyas, uh, all four, yeah, all four of these little groups of two flowers. And then I snagged all the big flowers, but I left the little ones. I was like, meh, whatever. Uh, and then on the back of that is another cactus pattern. So this one will come up a little bit closer here. And, yep. Yeah. There we go. All right, then we've got this. So this is sort of like a background pattern of that choya with some flowers on it. And then there's a little tiny, in the background you can see there's that little spike motif in the Calypso coral. And then here's the back of that one. It's another cactus. It's like a cactus stripe. I like it. All right, then we've got the purple flowers. I love these flowers. I think they're so cute. They kind of remind me of lotuses a little bit. I know that they're supposed to be from a cactus. So there's that. And then on the back of that is just a background of cacti, which are very cute. And you can get in here and the cacti have little tiny, there's very tiny details there. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got this one. So with this heart cactus with this, the flowers, they're so cute. Bring this up a little bit so you can see that better see some good blending of colors in there and then if you look in super close in the background in, in that purple color you can see some of those little spikes they're very tiny all right and then this is what's on the back of that so more more of the spiky pattern and then we've got the calypso coral flowers these are they look like hibiscus but they're the uh like christmas cactus flower and then hiding in the background we've got those little spikes again and then uh the back of that one i use this in my project um the one i just showed you and it kind of just looks like a cactus so that's a good background sheet um i think you get like eight sheets of each of those it's either six or eight of each of those sheets so uh you barely have to use the stamps if you don't want to um let's go ahead and take a look at this guy real quick <clears throat> before i have a seat here all right so i have several different elements on here um that i put together just to make this card so i've got um i stamped this sentiment this says life can get kind of prickly on a little banner that came from a paper pumpkin kit. Uh, this is the same size banner, and it says I'm always here for you. This is also from that same stamp set. And then these are die cut images from that sheet of paper that I talked about. Here's one of the felt flowers, and uh, I tied some string around the side, tied a little bow in it, kinda, <laughs> I cheated. Um, and then I also, um, to get it to stay, I, I took a little bite out of the edge of the card here, and I'll show you how I did that too. So, first things first. Here's the card base we're gonna use. So this is Mossy Meadow. Oh, let's talk about the colors. Forgot about that. So here's the coordinating colors. Calypso Coral, Highland Heather, Mint Macaron, which I often just say Mint Macaron, because I'm feeling silly sometimes in my own house. Pear Pizzazz and Mossy Meadow, which matches the paper that I've got right here. I like this palette. I think it's beautiful. Okay, let's put those off to the side. Uh, okay, and then I already have these things all die cut. So I'm just going to pick out what I want. Um, I'm going to use this Choya and, whoops, Maruv. I'm gonna use one of these guys 
and let's grab one of these not that one how about this one yeah oh my gosh <laughs> they're sticking to my fingers um, and then I, I pre-stamped my little flags so it's the same sentiments that are on the other card just I stamped it in a different color whoops there's that and then I already pre-cut some backgrounds for these that one's gonna go this way I used a, a die called uh, stitched rectangles which is a very handy set to have um, so we'll use this to put behind our little labels or our, you know, our sentiments. Uh, what else do we need? I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I love that little tray. And then I've got some glue, glue dots and stuff like that over here. So let's see. <clears throat> All right. The first thing I do, we can just move this over here. I just like to kind of start out easy. Go ahead and put these together. And I like to use double-sided tape for this. Hope this is ready. There we go. Just gonna turn that around, get the back of it a little bit. And then I actually have a pair of tweezers. Um, I could, I'm gonna do it by sight, but um, I just, it's really hard to see if it's in the middle or not with my hands in the way. So I like to use a pair of tweezers and just sort of line it up here where I think it's centered. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and snap, whatever, like smack it down, I'm gonna smack it down. Let's go ahead and stick it down. So there's that, there's one piece that we're gonna stick on the card in a minute. See, that looks cute already. <clears throat> All right, so then we've got the second one that goes on the bottom, or if you're making a card on your own, you could put it on the inside of the card like life can get kind of prickly and then you open it up it says I'm always here for you and then you know dear mom or whomever get out of here get out of here okay um let's get our tweezers back out I do like to kind of line these up I've got this grid paper here it's actually a calendar but close enough uh and let's line this guy up so double-sided tape again this guy like just barely fits inside of the rectangle and that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and stick that down Whoops! and drop it on the floor. That happens all the time. There we go. That wasn't rehearsed. Okay. There's that. Cute. So, you know, you're covering up a little bit of the design, but it still peeks out on the sides and looks really good. All right. Oh, I forgot to get the heart shaped cactus. I knew I was forgetting something. Here we go. All right. So, here we go. Following along, we've made these guys. And now we've got these pieces. And this guy. And this little flower. And then we're going to fuss around with some string. Um, so, let's go ahead and get a little glue dot. And most of my glue dots come from my paper pumpkin kits. These are like pre-punched, I guess. I'm just gonna stick this right on the edge of that little flower. And then I like to use my piercing tool to pull the little guy off of the back of there. And then I am going to affix this towards the bottom corner of the Choya that I cut out earlier. So it's all one piece. There we go. Nice. And then I'm going to, you can see on this one, um, I have used dimensionals to kind of pop it off the page. So we're going to put dimensionals on the back now. All right. So I'm going to flip this guy over and just do this. Just throw them on there. I like to put them, you know, where you think they're going to do the most good. But I also don't skimp on them too much. This needs another one, like, right here. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, here we go. I forgot. Just for little insurance policy, make sure these guys stay together. We're going to stick another one right there. 
where we put that glue dot just to make sure it stays all one piece. So there's this guy. So we've got three of our elements done now. And then we've got this, we've got this. So I think we're ready to start gluing stuff down. Oh God, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I didn't show you guys how to stamp because I mean, honestly, uh, I feel like most people have used a rubber stamp at some point in their life and they're familiar with the concept. You know, you've got an image on rubber on some sort of hard backing, you, you, you know, ink it by patting it on some ink or patting some ink on the stamp and then you put the stamp on the paper. Ta-da! All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this guy right about here in the middle-ish. In the middle-ish, but off to the side-ish. And I'm going to glue it straight down with the paper. I'm not using a ton of dimensionals on this one. Um, this card is designed to be able to be mailed um, probably without additional postage. Uh, this is just a regular... Um, this is a half a sheet of paper, uh, eight and a half by 11. So the dimensions on this are eight and a half by, um, five and a half. And then once it's all folded together, it'll be five and a half by four and three quarters. Uh, and that's very, very, very common card size, uh, especially in crafting. You can get envelopes in that size. Uh, they sell them, of course, at Stampin' Up. Um, and that is what I will be using when I, when and if I mail these out. So, Anyway, um, another, I, I don't like to watch people cut rectangles, so I, uh, I did that before we got here today. Um, all right, anyway, enough about that paper. Let's go ahead and glue up this guy with our double-sided adhesive. Oh, boy. This thing's gonna give me trouble. This is not a Stampin' Up! product for the record. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. And so let's stick that guy right about there. Looks good to me. And let's go ahead and stick these guys on. So I'm going to take the backs off of these. Sometimes I can do this with my hands just fine. Sometimes I got to get in there and with my piercing tool and this is going pretty good. Anyway, sometimes I need a little help. This is a good batch. They're coming right off. Okay, I'll go ahead and stick this guy. This little Choya right here. Cute. All right, so we got that. That's done. And then let's go ahead and glue these on. I'm just going to glue them straight down with the double-sided tape. So I'm going to make this like kind of, there's a little score line here. I'm going to make this kind of like equidistant in the corner like that it's about a quarter inch either way so right about there and then this guy will go down here in the corner about the same amount in from the corners so let's go ahead and tape those down oh that was lovely all right life can get kind of prickly There we go. Let's stick that down. That looks pretty straight. I always just eyeball it. You know, if it's a tiny bit crooked, no one cares. <laughs> Seriously, no one cares. You can't even, even the stuff in the store that's like mass produced, you know, it's not glued in the right spot. It's not folded straight. There's misprints. The glitter doesn't show, the glitter's not where it's supposed to be. You know, it's fine. It's wabi sabi. <laughs> you made it with your own two hands. And, you know, someone's going to appreciate that. See, I just did that. Whoop. That's too crooked. <laughs> That's too wabi-sabi. Let's try that again. This would be a good... Let's get the tweezers in here. So I can actually see what I'm doing. That looks good. All right. Slam it down. There we go. Okay, I ain't going nowhere. Okay, so now we just have this little guy, and we're going to do uh, um, the string. I hate doing string, but we'll do it. <laughs> I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to flip this guy over. You can tell it's the back because it's got, you know, all the overlapping stitches. And I'm going to get a larger glue dot. Boop. And put this on the back. We're going to say a little prayer that this stays 
on. You are going to stay. Be a good glue dot and stay. Her. Okay. Take that off. And stick that right about. Mia. Boop. Cute. Okay. Almost done. Let's go put that string on. <clears throat> Get, my... Get my cutter out here. I've got this uh, non non stampin' up brand uh, thing here. Anyway, this is a paper trimmer. If you don't have one, I recommend getting one. Um, you get what you pay for with paper trimmers. Uh, this one's pretty good, even though it's not the brand that I rep. Um, all right, so I'm going to put that string right about here, I think. So, you know, just, just right about where this guy is coming in. So what I'm going to do, close this down. So I've got this all the way at the bottom or the top or whatever. Um, just take a bite, just a little bite. All right. And then move this back down, put this down, take a little bite. Boop. That's it. That was a bigger bite than I wanted to. That's all right. It'll be okay. See, sloppy sloppy. Um, put that over here. Okay. So now I've got these two colors of thread. I'm going to take about an arm's length of both. Let's see here. There's one. How y'all doing? You guys doing good tonight? I'm having a good day. All right, one of those. This is my job. I get to just make stuff all day. And then, um... I don't know. I might sell these. I might put them in. I might send them. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> I need some more Etsy inventory. So they might just go in my shop. So good news guys. If you're not crafty, you can just go to my Etsy shop and buy these. That's what's going to happen. We're going to do that. I just decided. Okay. These are about the same. It doesn't matter if they're exactly the same length. We're going to end up cutting off the excess anyway. And, okay, this is kind of, this is where it gets kind of tricky for me. I always um, struggle with trying to get the right, just getting it in the right spot. We might have to fast forward this. I don't think I could get the rights to any Herb Alpert songs, unfortunately. It's a great time for some of that. Here we go. Close enough. All right. I am crap at bows. I mean, I can tie my shoes, obviously. I'm an adult. <laughs> but I just, I am just going to do like a square knot in this just to hold it in place. And this is not, I hate doing this. Someday I'll get the hang of it probably. Someone's probably like, oh, it's easy. You just blah, 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 and this and that. No, it isn't. <laughs> and then, you know, I just pulled it off of the spool. So it's a little bit curly. It's not me. It's the, it's the string. See what I mean? Good God. Everybody has their strengths. This is not one of mine. What are the upstairs neighbors doing? Can you guys hear that? I guess we'll find out. They're jogging. Sounds like they're jogging upstairs. Oh my gosh. Come on. Work hands. Work. 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 There we go. Huh. Mm. Alrighty. Well, there's that. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it in post. And I'm going to pull a little bit more off of those spools here. So that I can tie a bow with that. And then we'll trim it all up. Let's see. That's about enough. Mm -hmm. 
Please don't sue me for singing Spanish fully. I love you, Herb Alpert. And AMM Records is a fine establishment. Okay, let's put a bow on this. Boop. All right, there we go. That one didn't, that wasn't awful. Okay, there we go. There's that. And let's go ahead and trim these all up at the same time. Oh, that one's really short. Okay, well that's the, how short we're going. That's kind of how, if it, they're all the same length, sometimes you can just kind of grab them all at once. Actually, here we go, I need to get most of these. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. One more. All right. And we'll leave that guy a little bit longer. Okay. There we go. We just made a card. Yay. It actually turned out okay. I was a little worried that was too loose there, but I'm going to go ahead and fold it on my score line. And voila. We made a card, guys. Ta-da! All right, so check the link in the comment, or not the comments, in the description. Who knows? I'll put it in the comments, too. Maybe I'm feeling saucy. Um, <laughs> or if you want to purchase this entire suite of products, which it, it does actually come as one whole thing. And uh, what else? Oh, if you buy it before February 28th, you will automatically qualify for a free product through Salebration. Um, if you spend, for every $50 you spend uh, with Salebration, um, you get to pick out a free product. And if you spend $100, there's a $100. And there's two different $100 gifts. Um, one of which is a different product I'll show you in a different video. Um, anyway, so again, Flowering Cactus. This is a, one, two examples. Two examples of what you can do with this set. So cute. I really like it. I wish I hadn't put a purple one there, <laughs> but that's okay. It still looks great. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Maybe tell your friends about me. And uh, yeah, if you like these cards, you can find them in my Etsy shop for sale. Um, I might make a few more. Who knows? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.